Hey, what's going on everybody? Steve here, Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com coming back to you with another video. In this video, we have a haul video. So I'm gonna share with you a bunch of items that I found from uh, a couple thrift stores, Goodwill and Savers, some items that I found from garage sales, and a couple items I actually dug out of my parents' basement from way back in the day when I used to live at my parents' house eight years ago when I first started sourcing. I left some stuff there, forgot about it. They put a bunch of stuff all over it and then I, I recovered it. So I'm going to talk about the value of these items, what I paid, where I found them, and hopefully this will be able to help you to learn more about what to buy and sell. Now, real quick, I want to say if you enjoy these videos, do me a favor, smash that like button real quick. Hit that bell notification to get videos to get notified of these videos. And if you want to learn more about what to buy and sell, be sure to check out the Reseller Sourcing Handbook. It's a new service I just put together where you'll learn about five new items every single day sent directly to your email, fully researched. People are really loving it. So check that out. So without further ado, let's take a sip of coffee mm. and let's get into the video. Got a bunch of cool items. Now, I'm going to start off the item with, let's see, this item right here, now this is just a little tiny single, but I had never heard of this brand before. If you can see this right here, it's called Plan Toys. Now I don't know what instrument this is, but this is selling for about 25 bucks right here. And I just thought it was unique. I thought it was different. It is beat up a little bit, but a lot of the Plan Toy items do sell for 20, 30, 40 bucks. And the thing that really stinks is when I went into this Goodwill, this was over in the New Haven area, across the state from where I live, I'm in the Hartford area. Some guy had, he was loaded up with all these, excuse me, with all these items in his cart and he must have left this one behind. I was a little disappointed, but you know, I paid $3.99, it's a good learning experience. Now, speaking of learning, I need your guys' help really quick. I found these for $3.99 and I don't even know exactly what they are. The reason I'm sharing these with you is because I want to talk about risk and reward and taking chances. Now, this was only $3.99 at Goodwill, and what they are are these NFL team helmets, and there's got to be 20, 25 of them or something in there. And I said, you know what, maybe this will be a good learning experience. I haven't even looked them up yet, but I figured, worst comes to worst, I got to be able to get 20, 25 bucks for these, right? So someone in the comments, let me know what these are and put a value on these. You know, when it comes to learning about new items, risk versus reward. If you're only paying a buck or two and maybe the worst it'll sell for is $15, take a chance, learn about it. So that was a really cool little find and uh, hopefully someone can help me out before I do some research. Next on deck is this vintage General Electric uh, AM FM clock radio. Now the reason why I picked this up, keep in mind when you find older items like this, if it comes with the original box, if it comes with the manual, if it comes with like the, cer the certificate, when it first uh, came out, that adds a lot of value. This thing is like almost brand new. It has all the packing material from when it was new. I don't even know if anyone used this. Traditionally used, maybe only 20 bucks, but since it comes with the box, since it comes with the manual, since it's almost guaranteed to work, I would assume, I think someone will pay up 50 or 60 bucks based on my research. So for $6.99, why not? Keep your eye out for collectibles. Now this was a cool little item that I found at Savers for $3.99 and it's a, uh, it's a face mask, so it actually fits me really, really well. Um, I don't know if it's men's or women's champion sports, but it looks like it's never been used before. I did a little bit of research. I could probably get maybe 30, 35 bucks for this right here. It's very lightweight. It seems very new and modern. So keep your eye out for stuff like this. It's odd. It's weird. You know, over here in Connecticut, it's not baseball or softball season, but uh, someone will definitely pick that up in the spring. Now I wanna share with you a couple board games. This is a board game that I love to resell. I'll flip it on eBay, I'll also flip it on Amazon. If it's new, I always sell it on Amazon, almost every single time. Now this is used, but the reason why I picked it up is because when I open up the box, everything's brand new inside. So I'm not gonna be able to sell this on Amazon new because on Amazon you can't change the description if it's new. It has to be like new sealed, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell it on eBay or Amazon, but for $2.99, why not? That'll definitely turn into maybe 20 to 30 bucks. What's going on, buddy? We got my little friend here who wants to say hello. Say hi to everybody. That's Harry. All right, Harry, get down. All right, I wanna share with you a couple, a couple more board games that I um, actually, these two that I'm gonna share with you are the ones that I dug up out of my parents' basement. I sourced these, I don't know how long ago, and I forgot about them. Now. 
This is new sealed with damage, so I'm not gonna be able to sell this as new on Amazon. I'll probably sell it maybe used on Amazon because it was going for over 50, even used. This is a brand called Springbok. Check that out right there. Look for the Springbok puzzles that are brand new. Now, if it's got a cool theme, just like this one's Coca-Cola, if it's new, a lot of these will go for 20, 30, 40, 50, sometimes 80 to 100 bucks, depending on how rare it is. So this was really cool. But again, the, the, the wrapping's a little damaged over there. So I'm not gonna sell that as new, but definitely a cool item. I'm gonna put this over here. Let's talk more board games. Donald Trump board game. I remember picking this up way, way, way back in the day. And if you don't believe me, it still has the uh, the the Saber sticker. This is like a vintage Saber sticker. It doesn't look like this anymore, but uh, I paid $2.99. I'll tell you right now, in 2021, if Savers had this brand new, it would probably be at like 25 or 30 now. The prices have gone ridiculous. Um, this is brand new sealed. I think it does have a little bit of damage. Yeah, right here you can see it's got the plastic ripping a little bit. Uh, we'll pr probably still get 40 or 50 bucks for it, but keep an eye out for brand new Donald Trump stuff. Uh, don't be mad at me. I'm just, you know, this is the Rake and Profit channel. We talk about how to ethically make money. We're not talking politics, but I'll tell you that stuff does really well. Now, speaking of brands that do really well, Etro Milano. I flipped this brand quite a bit in terms of ties, also dress shirts. Let me see if I can show you the, you might be able to see that. Estro Milano, got these from a garage sale for a quarter each. Now, at this garage sale, they had a huge bin of ties. And I picked up a whole bunch of other ones, some Brooks Brothers ones, some Ralph Lauren's. I'm going to sell some of those in a lot. But I want to share with you this brand. Um, it's a solid brand. Etro Milano, again, I sell dress shirts a lot. This is definitely a high-end, expensive brand. Look for ties that are themed. Maybe if it has like a like an owl theme or a squirrel or an elephant theme or it's got crazy colors or a cool design. The Donald Trump ties, they used to do really well. I'm not sure how well they do anymore. I haven't flipped any of those in a bit. But uh, Etro Milano, again, in it for a quarter each. We'll probably get $15, $17 each. Maybe I'll sell it in a lot for $25. But when I get an item for a quarter each, you know, I'm not going to sweat it. Now, let's talk about some media items that I picked up. This is a cool book that I found for $3.99 at Savers. It's called The Completion Process by Teal Swan. This thing's going for over 50 bucks used. Had a semi-decent rank, and uh, you guys know I love to sell books. I taught my mom how to sell books on Amazon. I've been doing it for over seven years. So is my mom, you know, my good friend, uh, Avery Roma the Romer, who used to be my roommate. He's done over seven figures now with books. If you're looking to make money, if you're looking to make money, Harry, look into books. Books are cheap. Books are easy to ship. And books are not going anywhere. Even though people think that everything's going digital, books sell very, very well. I love selling books. Now, let's talk about a couple of DVDs that I picked up recently. Check out Rick Steves' DVDs. This guy travels the world, and he does like these, these TV shows where he tours and travels and gives you tips for where to eat, where to stay, so on and so forth. These do very, very well. Uh, typically, you know, there's different ones that sell for like 80 to 100 new. I think this one's like 30 or 40. The used ones aren't going to sell for as much, but look for new media. And I wish I could show you the other ones. I found another like 20 of these uh, DVDs, not the specific ones, but there were a bunch of musical DVDs that I found at Salvation Army for I think a buck 50. A lot of opera, music, just old weird music stuff. I wish I could tell you more about it. Some of them actually had the tickets to the operas in the back of the DVD sleeve, which was really interesting. But this one's going for 20 bucks. You know, if you can get DVDs that have under 100,000 rank, um, they sell pretty nicely. Not very quick, but you know, they, they flip a couple times a month. Um, if you get them under 50,000, under 25,000, then they start really flipping, you know, four or five days in a week or so. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm seeing if there's anything else to share. Oh, I, I missed a couple things. I'm sorry about that. Uh, this is a cool Ralph Lauren shirt that I picked up for $2.99. The reason I picked this up is because it had a cool design to it. I like the embroidery. Um, I also liked that it was a custom fit. So the custom fits do well. Um, if you could find the 3X, the 4X, the really big extra large Ralph Lauren's, those do fantastic. Anything themed out, crazy colors, um, purple label, that's actually one of the one of the uh, things that we have in the reseller sourcing handbook within I think the first week or so. Look for the purple label stuff. It's hard to come across, but can make you a lot of money. And last but not least, this was probably one of my cooler finds right here. 
This is a satin jacket starter. I paid, I think, $14.99. Yeah, I paid $14.99 for this. Starter satin jacket, size large, really, really nice condition. Boston Red Sox, help me out. This has got to be what, from the 80s or so? I like the ones that have a lot of embroideries, bigger size. This doesn't have a, you know, I wish it had an embroidery on the back. It didn't, but uh, really, really nice item. I'm thinking it's got to sell for probably maybe 60 or 70 bucks. Give me a hand, guys, with what you think this will sell for. But yeah, that's my haul. Those are the items that I found, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. So if you did, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and if you have any future ideas for videos, let me know. Much love.